Welcome back to the DYS F4 video series. Look in the description, you'll find a link to the playlist. Today I want to talk about how to add in your uh, Turn G or Fly Sky receivers. It's going to be the same thing. The receiver I have here is the IA6C, which is this guy. I've just taken the case off and depend it, but basically what I'm using is ground, voltage, and the S bus pin. But we're not actually using S bus, I'm going to be using I bus, which is the same pin. Your other option is the uh, FlySky uh, X6B. If you look on the bottom side, so here's the top, bottom, there's a three pin connector, and this is your S bus connector. But once again, this is capable of using I bus, so it's going to be the same pin, same wires, same everything. And you also have the A8S, which I can't find mine right now. Um, but either way, I'm going to leave you a link to my Turn G Evolution series of videos in the description and uh, if you don't know how to bind your receiver then go ahead and watch that and I explain everything there so assuming you already have your receiver or you know how to bind your receiver let's continue and just talk about the wiring if you look at the diagram that DYS provides for you this pin right here is the receive pin for UART number one and going by their diagram this pin to the left of it is receive for UART number three, but that's actually wrong. The receive and transmit for UART three are actually flip-flopped. So this pin is actually uh, received for UART number three. We've got receive for UART number six on this uh, pin on the edge. If you want to use iBus, you can pick any of these three pins. It is completely up to you. It's gonna be the same thing either way. If you want to use SBus, which I don't know why you would use SBus. iBus is better than SBus. Also, iBus does not care about inverters or anything like that, but uh, this fucking short only has one hardware inverter, and it's for the receive for UART number one. So in that case, you would have to place your signal wire uh, to this pin to use SBus. Also in your transmitter, make sure you have the output mode matching to what you want to use. So for example, I have an iBus selected, you don't have to worry about either one of these. Um, just pick one of these two and then back out. If you did make a change, then you will have to rebind your receiver. At least I think you do. I, I can't confirm that. I can't remember. As far as powering it, both of these top pins are grounds as well as both of these pins are grounds. Both of these pins on the second row are power and both of these pins are power. So just pick any one of these four power pins and any one of the four ground pins. It's completely up to you. So now that you have ground, power, and your signal wire going to either this pin, this pin, or this pin, we're ready to go into beta flight. So at this point, I've plugged in a USB cable to my flight controller. I also plugged in a LiPo battery to the uh, XC60 connector to provide power to the receiver. I have already bound my receiver, so now I'm going to go in. First, let's go to ports. Because I placed my signal wire on the receive for UART number one, for underneath UART one, I will turn on serial RX. And if you place your signal wire on UART three or six, then just turn it on for either one of those two UARTs. Next, let's save and reboot. Now go into configuration, scroll down. Make sure you have serial based receivers selected and under here, if you want to use iBus, and like I said, that's the one I recommend, then choose iBus. If you want SBus, then select SBus. Then save and reboot. Okay, now, if you go to the receiver tab and you move your joysticks around, they should be moving on your screen, and if you have created your switches, you can test those out now. If you selected iBus, all of this should be working. If this is not working for you and you selected SBus, one thing you do want to uh, check is going to the CLI, type set inversion. That's going to give you a few options here. Do set SBus underscore inversion space equals space and make sure it's turned on, which mine is already turned on. If it's off, then turn it on and go back check your uh, sticks to make sure they are moving on the screen, which they should be. Uh, well, let me back up. 
press enter and then you also want to click save or type save and press enter again and then go back and recheck and like I said they should be working uh, but then again uh, I like I said I re recommend iBus and iBus it does not matter if the pins are inverted or not it's just gonna work either way so that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching I'll see you again soon